everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with what is in my baby changing bag i haven't filmed one of these since p was like i want to say like one and a half and obviously i have another baby although she's not really a baby anymore she's seven months so she is a baby but not like baby baby um so i thought i would sit down and share with you what is in my baby changing bag so this one is an old school one it is what i had when i had p it's from mother care obviously mother care's not around anymore and it's just this gray and white satchel style you've got the clip down here or not a clip popper and then you've also got a zip on the top where you can open it. I never use this. And then you can just dive in and then you're in the middle of the bag, if that makes sense. But I literally just lift open the flap. I feel like changing bags have changed so much from when I had pee. Like you get like all nice handbag looking ones now. Whereas when I had pee, they were either like really tragic designs Kath Kidston or stuff like this. So as much as I know it's not necessarily the best looking, I still really like it. It's obviously the grey and white stripe with the brown um, like leather detailing. Um, it's got like a brass metal like detailing as well. It works well with Neil, obviously him being a guy. Um, he didn't want anything too floral. So we've got this one and I am now about to change it out and go into a backpack style so that's why i wanted to sit down and film this video it's worn really well i used this like i said when i had pee i think i probably used it for like about the same amount of time like seven eight months and that's what i've done now you can see that it's like a little bit of like scuffing and stuff on the sides and it is a bit dirty but i mean i've never washed it and it's worked really well it's full of um compartments so i thought i would just sit down and just talk you through what is in the changing bag nothing too exciting but i just wanted to film the video so i'm going to start with side pockets first just because it's easier so on this side pouch um randomly i have two straws i want to say they're from kfc i'm just really funny about receiving drinks in restaurants and not having straws um a lot of the places do but with everything that's going on at the moment i hate asking for things so like if i go to spoons normally you'd be able to go up to the bar and just grab a straw yourself or ask for a straw but now because it's like table service only i hate being an inconvenience so i bring my own straws i know they're plastic i didn't buy them they were given to me by kfc um so i've got my, my straws and then also in here i have my shades i always wear sunglasses even in the rain I just love my sunglasses. These are from Primark. They're like my square ones. I wish I got more in the summer. These were probably like two pounds. And I just, I live in shades. Even like when it snows, I wear sunglasses. It's ridiculous. I've got a lip balm. This is a drumstick one from Bargs, I think. Again, love a lip balm. Now that it's getting colder, lips get chapped. Although, I don't know if you find this, I hate applying lip balm and then having to wear my mask because it just doesn't go very nice. But I've got one anyway for like school run because at the moment, currently when filming, I don't have to wear a mask like when you're out, outside, because obviously you're outside, but you never know, that could change. I've got a spare dummy. This is a Tommy Tippy one. Um, this is naught to six months, so I could probably get, like, change her up onto the next size, but... I'm not ready for that yet, nor she. And then I have my hand san of choice. So I did have like a, a squeezy hand san, but I much prefer this. This is Fabulosa Mini Disinfectant. I don't really know if it is classified as hand san. It kills up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Spray it on the area to be cleaned. Well, I just use it on my hands. Ideal for hard services that include door handles, light switches, shopping trolleys. Well, I spray this on my hand and I'm sure that's fine. I have got hand sand in the car. This is the wild rhubarb scent. Got my wrinkly old hands. Mm, I just love it. And 
you can never have enough anti back at the moment. I feel like everyone's bathing in it. So I've got some of that. The other side, there is literally one thing, I think. So just one. Yeah, and that is my backup of formula. We use Cowan Gate, and this is the follow on six to 12 months, stage two. Um, I got this from Boots for like, I want to say it's like 75p. Um, I always have one just in case. I don't have any in my cupboards. This is the only one I've got. And it's just my like, in case of emergencies, if I need a milk, I've got it. Um, I just, I don't know, it just makes me feel uncomfortable going out. Like if I don't bring my powder and pre-made like all my water and things like that, at least I've got that worst case scenario right so in the middle as you can it's really hard to show you this i've got a pouch here i've got a pouch here and i've got my massive middle section so i'm going to do these front two first so in one side i've got things for pee i've got some top trumps for pee um normally she has her own little bag and we just put her drinks and her snacks and everything in that and that's fine works really well for us now i just clip it onto the push chair but i have got some things like just in case you're a mum like you always need stuff just in case so these are the simpsons top trumps i got these in poundland but i think they were two pounds so i've got a game and i've also got a pack of gingerbread men for if she ever gets hungry which is all the time because she doesn't stop eating um and then in the other pocket i've got a little toy for florence this is a little what is it called o ball like shaky rattle um, great for shoving in her mouth, great for like putting her hands in it and I also have a reusable bag. I do have loads but I don't know where they've all gone. So this one is from Primark, I need a new one, this one's like fallen to bits. Um, so I've got one of those and then I also have a pen because you never know when you need a pen and hand cream, not gonna lie I forgot that was in there. Um, but I should use it because, I, like I said, my hands are so dry and wrinkly. Um, not nice getting older. I'm, I'm noticing things that I don't like uh, and it's never going to change. So I've got my hand cream um, to try and bring a little bit of moisture in my life by Kathy Kidston. So they are what I have in my front pockets. And now I'm going to move on to the big main bulk of this. So I'm going to take out my little changing stuff and go through that in a sec. I uh, just wanted to show you the bag. So on the inside I've got a pocket here, a pocket here. I've got a zip pocket here. And then if I turn it round, I've got this mesh section as well. So that's what I'm working with in the middle and I'll get to that in a sec. So the things that I've just taken out, I have my changing mat which came with the bag, um, really handy. It's just a foldable changing mat, you can go in the washing machine and I just really like that. It's, it's a baby portable changing mat, what more can you say? And then I also have my Kath Kidston nappy thing. I got this from a mum sale and I think I paid is it £2.50 or £3? I don't know if they make them anymore. Um, this is the grey and white. It's like cream, not white, sorry. Spotty one. This bit lifts up, but I never use this function at all. Um, it's got a clip, so I can clip it on the push chair if I need to. I never do. I thought I would on school runs. I don't take anything on the school runs, apart from Florence and her dummy and her blanket that's all i take um i don't take anything else because i'm literally out of the house for like 20 minutes so in the front we have a little pocket and inside i have a worst case scenario dummy so this is an old oven i say old it's not old it's florence's we just don't use this brand anymore because she didn't take to it but i've got it just in case i lose all dummies and florence is having an absolute mad one which she's never done I'm just prepared in case she does so I've got that in there which has never been used and then this zips open and opens I have got the pantham and some knappy sacks in this bit and then in the middle or like the main bit I've got some Aldi wipes and some nappies I've got one two th I've got four in there and I probably replen this maybe like once every two weeks like we don't really go out but if we do i've got my little stash there and i really like this little setup so 
if we are out and I need to change Florence, instead of lugging the bag, I literally just grab these and the babe and go. So it works really well. I like the whole, like, just easiness of it all. Whereas with P, I just had like a plastic bag, um, which is in my special box because I'm weird. Um, but I've got those. Florence has just woken up from her nap, so I've got to be very quick. So the middle section is very hard. I'm not going to lie. It's very hard to like work with because there's no structure it just all crams together and his things just get thrown in here so in the back pouches the ones near the zip i have got a muslin and a bib again just baby essentials that you need i've got a couple of toys i've got this teething one by nubby definitely needs a little wash it's full of hair and crumbs and god knows what um but this is what it looks like you can get these in bags um so like these bits can go in their mouth and they can teeth on it so it's just a little this one's like hard plastic and then this is like silicone plastic so i've got that and then i've got our favorite sissy link are they called sissy links sassy links i always forget sassy links i've done a baby faves video and I spoke about these and i've got one of my dummy clips on there i feel like i get questions all the all the time about my dummy clips I just haven't made any for a very long time. I could because I've got the supplies. I just haven't had the time to sit down and make them at the moment. But I mean, hopefully eventually in the future I will. But at the moment, I'm not making any. But yeah, that's my little toy section. Because she's so small, she's not necessarily like... She just would be happy with a spoon to shove in her mouth. And then the front mesh zip pocket. I've got some... Oh, I've got some more straws. Told you, I've got an issue about straws. These are the ones from Spoons. Very bent, but I've got them just in case. And these are paper ones. And then I've got a couple of masks. I've got P's mask. I know she doesn't need them. Um, she did need them when my grandma was poorly before she passed away. She needed to wear a mask when we went to go and see her, which is why I got her one. Hers is a little Kath Kidston number. Very cute, love it. It's got fairies on it. I pack that in there just in case I forget my own. I'm the type of person that wears my mask and then just leaves it in the car. I never tend to put it back in the changing bag. And if I pop to the shops once I've walked to get pee from school and I don't have a mask, I've always got like the spare, spare one in, in my bag. So this is P's little one. I mean, it doesn't really fit, but I can make it fit. I've tied up the edges. So that's hers. I know that children don't need to wear masks of her age. I've got a reusable one, which I quite like. This one's quite a soft one. I do find though that some of these have got like a really horrible coarse texture and it like itches my face, but this one's good. And then I also have Florence's change of outfit because poo explosions and stuff and being sick, it's inevitable. She's now in six to nine, which P wasn't in six to nine until she was like one and a half. And I just, my baby's growing up so much. But this is a little mother care number. I'm not sponsored by mother care. Oh, I, just, I miss the shop so much. Um, so I've got that backup one in there, stained and stuff. So that's why it's the changing bag one. So that is everything for the middle section of the bag. I just have the back pouch to go. So if I turn the pocket, or turn the pocket, turn the bag over, I've got my little clips that I can clip it onto the push chair with, which I really like that little function. And then here is basically where my stuff goes. Don't have a lot. I've got my purse by Kath Kidston. Love this purse so much. I got it on a secondhand Kath Kidston um, Facebook page. I can't remember the name of the design, but I just love it. It's just beautiful it only cost me 13 pounds um got a picture of daisy do in there there she is from school and just details and parent stuff and adult stuff and a little bit of <coughs> coins because i never spend them anymore because nowhere takes coins so that's my purse got a whole load of salt in there as well because salt is always needed with me Here's my itchy mask that I don't like. It's all folded. Again, it's just a backup just in case. I've got my car key with a key ring of Neil and P. Is it going to focus? Ugh, come on. There we go. 
it's just focusing on the on the writing but there you go i used to just have a key and now i've got a key ring as well and is that it and then i've got my mask this one's my favorite one from bugs it was one pound 29 and oh it's just so soft it doesn't itch my face oh that didn't work out very well did it and i've got my lip balm on i just love it i went back the other day to get some more and i didn't have any so i need to put this one in the wash but it's so soft it's like leopard print i just thought it was really cool um i also realized i forgot to show you what was in this little zip pocket i have got some pads and tamp again just in case i'm using menstrual cups and stuff now but again you just never know when shit hits the fan not shit other stuff but i've got them just in case i've got another pen again in case i need to write a letter i've got that i've got a sachet of salt from tj for tgi fridays finally i've got my body mist by soap and glory and it is a sugar crush and that is what that looks like give myself a little spritz mm. and then the only oh, definitely just ate that and then the only other thing that i bring with me so once the bag's all packed and i've got the little bit thrown over it i literally just drape this or one of these over the top and i'm good to go but i cannot leave the house without one of these blankets because they are florence's thing and i love them and so does she so that is everything that is in our baby changing bag i will probably do another one of these in like a year's time when she's a toddler and i've got endless amounts of snacks and drinks and everything coming out of my eyeballs that is everything i really hope you all enjoyed this video and i will see you all in my next one bye